To Monday during the football season, then it's time for a pod further review where we look back at the big storylines in New York football. The fact that I had to raise my chair about two feet here, and you see this man, Justin Pugh, shows you we're going to talk about the Giants. Thanks for being here. I introduced you before as the most stand up human in America for coming here. We appreciate you being here with everything that's going on. Thank you for having me on. Yeah, it's definitely you know, a tough start to the season, but uh, you know, I'm glad to be here. All right. How sh I think I asked you this question a couple weeks ago. And I guess I have to keep asking until you guys get a win. How, with the aspirations this team had, the expectations, how shocking is all this for you? Very shocking. I think yesterday was definitely one of the tougher losses of the season because, you know, in that fourth quarter, I thought we had the game. You know, I was, I was getting prepared to come on here and be like, all right, we got our first win under <laughs> our right. belt, getting ready, what I, what I was going to say. And uh, that one slipped away. So that was definitely tough. And we've played better than the first two weeks of the season. We keep losing close ones in the fourth quarter. We're learning lessons the hard way. And uh, in the NFL, no one's going to feel bad for you. No one's going to feel sorry. So we got to pick ourselves up and we got to get this thing corrected. You talk about learning lessons the hard way. What lessons can you lose from, can you get from losing when the expectations were so high that you were going to win? Um, it's tough. Obviously, you're losing lessons that you, you hope to correct the next week and not do that. We've done it five weeks in a row. Um, so obviously, we have to keep going back and, and going to the drawing board. Not fortunately, I guess unfortunately, we started at 0-6 my rookie year. So able to draw back on that team and what helped us get through at that point. We actually almost had a shot to make the playoffs in that 2013 year. We had a big game against Dallas that we ended up losing that year. So going back and drawing on past experiences, try to help this team out and just try to be a leader. Justin, how does the, the you know, we all saw what happened yesterday with Odell Beckham, yeah. the injury, and obviously the news today that he's going to have surgery. Uh, you know, you've, you've lost this dynamic playmaker, one of the most exciting guys in the league. How is that, not just on the field, but in the, in the locker room, I mean, how does that affect the team's psyche going forward now? It's definitely going to be tough. Um, one of the best players in the NFL, one of the loudest personalities. He's always dancing, joking around, keeping everybody upbeat. Um, it's terrible to see anybody get injured on either side of the field. But when one of your star players goes down, it, it, it hurts even more, and, and you hate to see that. We lost two receivers yesterday, too. Dwayne Harris had a broken foot, and I think we're waiting on MRIs from Brandon Marshall and Sterling Shepard to see all those guys go down. I've never been in a game where in the two-minute drum, I'm looking around, and we just have all tight ends in there running routes. It was, it was pretty, pretty insane. Yeah. Um, I'm just hoping those guys get better, and at the end of the day, they're still human beings. I'm hoping that, you know, speedy recovery. Um, Get, get them guys back on the field as quick as possible. Justin, one of your teammates, Eli Apple, uh, had some interesting comments after the game when talking about the 0-5 start, and he said it's not really about one individual. It's about a culture here with the Giants. Is, is there an issue? Is there a culture issue with the Giants with this 0-5 start? What do you think Eli Apple's talking about? I don't think so. I don't think there's an issue. I think, if anything, this has brought us closer together. You find out real quick who's friend and who's enemy when you're, you start 0-5 and, and, and everyone's coming at you trying to figure out what's wrong. Um, I think we have to pull together. You have to keep working. You have to keep playing for those guys in the locker room and, and the coaches. Um, I love these guys, so I'm going to keep going out there and battling. Um, we're professional. We have to go out there and we have to play better football. Is this group as tight together as last year's group? Because last year you guys seemed, everyone seemed to work well together. Offense, defense, defense picking up the offense. It seems to be a little bit of a miss this year. Is this group as tight as it was last year in 16? Definitely. I think that I think we're even closer than we were last year. A lot of the same faces are coming back. And I think maybe there could be a... a, a a lull with expecting in the fourth quarter, like, oh, someone's going to get this stop. We're going we're gonna to win this game. Um, someone's got to go out there and make those plays. we got to start scoring more points, giving our defense, you know, more of an opportunity to go out and just, just rush the passer and get after them. We, we had that fast start that we were talking about, mm -hmm. but then we had that lull in the second quarter, and then we're not really playing complimentary football right now, and that's obviously one of the reasons why we're 0-5. Well, listen, we very much appreciate you coming on. We're looking forward to talking a win with you here coming up in the few weeks down the road. We hope to get to do it. Thank you for stopping by. Yeah, me too. Uh, I figured you'd say that. Yeah.